Now we're going to do the pH test to see how these uh, drinks rate. And uh, for my topic, I would just like to explain that um, I'm using these pH drops right here. These are drops that your pool guy will use or aquarium people will use. And what this will do is this will turn the water a different color. And it's going to see, the, the color range goes from really acidic orange all the way up to purple that's alkaline. Okay, your blood and your body would be probably a blue if I tested it here, it would be like slightly on the greenish blue side. And what you need to do is you need to keep your water into the purple range in order for your blood not to have to go borrow the magnesium and calcium and stuff, minerals from your bones in order to keep you healthy. So uh, that's why older people have problems with their bones is because they're washing them away with acidic waste. So what we like to do is see what color these things turn. I'm going to drop about three drops in each one of these. Give them all a little stir. As you can see, this one is beautiful orange. This is very orange. This one right here, orange as well. Very, very acidic. This is another orange one. This is a Slightly green, very light, light green. A yellow, almost a light green. This one's a yellow. Yellow, yellow, green. This was blue. This is your municipal water. It, it's mandated that it comes alkaline so it doesn't rust the pipes. Of course, they allow you to drink all these drinks right here to rust the inside of your body. Your pipes are no different than the inside of your body. They all rust and corrode, and they do with these kind of drinks. Uh, this is your alkaline water over here. You see it's purple water. That's, that's alkaline water. Okay. So that is our pH test. As you can see, waters are not waters. They're not all waters are the same. And the acidic water, acidic drinks over here, the ones that were, that were given to our kids when they're uh, when they're sick are making them sicker and the ones that they're marketing for the sports people uh, lactic acid comes out of their muscles and of course you don't want to put more acid in and that's what you're doing uh, propel for all of the activities sports people too it's the same thing your smart water is uh, is not as smart and as you saw in most of these are oxidative as well as they're they're not alkaline they're acidic products now what we're going to do is find out really how acidic they are uh, to end this part of the presentation. And what I've done is I've poured, a, I poured a, uh, a glass of the alkaline water down there at the end. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how easily these things are alkaline. By pouring just a little bit of water in there, you can alkaline these things. So if you go out to dinner and you have a bottle of water, oh, don't worry, we can fix your problem. But these right here, it's not going to happen. This is not going to happen. And it's not going to happen here either. Now with some diluted Gatorade, let's say you go out and you alkaline yourself and you, you, you went out here and your body was like this. And you said, well I got some diluted Gatorade over here and I'm going to see what happens to these things when I pour just a little bit of Gatorade in them so highly acidic that it will acidic these drinks just with a little sip of it. Even the high alkaline water over there. So that concludes this portion of the presentation.